It is 7.43. Well, people with albinism are often the centre of attention because of their white hair and fair skin. But ultimately, they want to be treated like anyone else. Australians with albinism gathered in Brisbane over the weekend to share their experiences. Among them was Dr Shari Parker, who joins us now. Good morning to you. Now, now Good morning. F- first of all, explain what causes albinism. Um, Albinism is a genetic condition whereby the body doesn't make as much uh, melanin, which is the pigment that gives colour to the hair, the skin, and is also really important with the normal development of the eyes and the eye pathways. Therefore, people with albinism have got um, white to very fair hair, milky white skin, and have also got significant vision impairment. As a result of these things, um, we're at risk of uh, sunburn, we never tan, and we're at risk of uh, various skin cancers. And we've also got quite a significant vision impairment. And that means that um, most of us can't drive and many um, are legally blind. Yeah, I was amazed to find out about the vision impairment. I know that you personally have significant vision impairment, um, but you've become a doctor, you've achieved so much. How difficult was that? Um, I I guess I became a doctor um, with great passion, determination and uh, refusing to listen to the word no. Um, I, I decided to become a doctor probably in mid-high school and there were, there were many sceptics who thought that I'd never, one, be able to get into medicine or secondly, study, med- study medicine or graduate or, or practice medicine. But here I am 10 years uh, down the track post-graduation, married with a couple of kids and of um, practicing as a consultant physician in rehabilitation medicine. Wow, it is a, such a wonderful... It's certainly, there have been challenges along the way, um, but they've not been insurmountable. Um, I guess you look at different ways of approaching problems and you learn to use your other senses, your sense of hearing, your sense of touch and possibly that, that sixth sense mm. as well. It is a wonderful mm. story, but how do you find the public react to people with albinism? Because sort of popular culture doesn't make it easy for you, uh, does it? Like the Da Vinci Code movie, the bad guy had albinism. Um, Does does the public tend to stereotype you? Absolutely. And, you know, walking down the street, you often do get the stares uh, because we do look different from other people and you get ill-informed comments, you know, are you from Scandinavia? Do you dye your hair? Why don't you just go into the sun and get a tan? Uh, Aren't your eyes pink? And I guess I see those, um, those situations as an opportunity to educate the public about what albinism is and what it isn't. You know, we're not dumb blonde freaks with red eyes. We're just normal individuals who are excessively fair and have a vision impairment. Yeah, look, a really important message. And I know that the weekend conference was, was obviously trying to spread that message. So it's lovely to talk to you. Shari, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's interesting, wasn't mm. it?